you ever hate Smarsh Monkey here, this is my Arrow Season 5 Episode 2 review and rundown. A lot of stuff this week. I love how they're doing a lot of stuff like that. Oh, I'm just holding this for some odd reason. Um, I was bored. But anyway, uh, I love how they're doing a lot of stuff this week. I think that it's really great. Um, the Flash, I think, doesn't have as as great as time management as it used to. I think the Arrow is actually picking up quite nicely, whereas last for both of the last seasons... Uh, Arrow, it was flip-flopped. Arrow didn't have as well as time management, and they kind of kind of scattered by the end of the season, uh, and the Flash really held it together really well. Whereas, it's flip-flopped. Again, this this time around, Arrow is really the big winner. Legends was actually really good, too. I'll do that video next, I think. Then I'll do Vixen, and then I'll do Luke Cage. I don't know. I'll do all the videos soon. Um, I'll try to get them out as fast as possible. Um, I showed you guys the thumbnails to all the videos on Twitter. They're pretty cool. I'm excited uh, to be doing those. But anyway, let's talk about Arrow. So yeah, this episode, fantastic. Oh, like, applause. I love the episode so much. There was so much to talk about, but there was also really, it was good time management. The narrative was fantastic. There's just so, so many great things about the episode, so let's talk about it. So, obviously... Uh, Oliver has to put together a new team. He has Wild Dog, Artemis, and Mr. Terrific. Now, I like where they're going with this. I thought that it was really cool because we got training with all the old characters. We got training with Arsenal, Speedy, Black Canary, Spartan. Like, we had those training moments, but they didn't really need as much training as, say, a younger, newer team does, right? I mean, Laurel, she was already trained, technically, since season one, because of uh, her, you know, with Quentin giving her uh, self-defense classes. Uh, Diggle was in the war, you know? Uh, Speedy, Thea had the archery trophy. She was already kind of trained in archery, too, right? Uh, Roy needed training, but they didn't really do that as long as this team will probably have to. So this is kind of like the first ever experience we've had with a team. I mean, the other, the old team didn't need as much training as this team, and this team needs a lot of training. So it's really cool to see where they're going. Now, I know what you're saying. You're like, well, what about uh, Evelyn? You know, she has training already. Uh, yes, she does have training, but I feel like she has acrobatic training. Laurel had, like, fighting training, right? Like, you know how they compare Laurel and Evelyn because of that one episode where Evelyn was a uh, Black Canary, like the fake Black Canary? Well, Laurel already had self-defense. She has acrobatics. So they're training. So all is basically training all of them to fight. So I think that's really interesting. I love how they did trust as the theme to the episode. I love how they flash back to the Bratva and the Bratva. Uh, you know how they came up with that whole uh, ring the bell situation. That's where Oliver got it from. Uh, and using his team, like working together to take take down, you know, or I guess ring the bell. Take down the take down the guys and ring the bell. So I think that Oliver applied that to real life, uh, or not real life, but <laughs> Oliver applied that to his current life uh, for the team. And I thought that that was really great. But it didn't work with that team because Oliver learned to trust those people in the Bratva and ring the bell. He didn't trust these people because he was the instructor. And so he ended up trusting by the end of the episode, revealing who he was. So fantastic. I love that. Now let's talk about the team itself. I love Wild Dog. I mean, the character's so much fun to have on here. Uh, to me, it feels like kind of like Roy was. How Roy was like, I thought you were going to teach me like how to be a hero, you know, and like... But this was it, this is a, technically like an older, more hardcore version. And I like it. Curtis is pretty interesting. I think that he's the lighthearted, fun uh, type character, which is also pretty cool. I do want him to ha have more of the Mister Terrific persona, though. I, I want him to have like the more smarter. Like Mister Terrific is super intelligent. I mean, he's one of the smartest people in the whole Justice League combined. So I feel like you know we're gonna ha have to have more of that uh, in the, Cur the Curtis character. Uh, now, Artemis, I love Artemis. I think that she's going to be really cool. I like her addition. At first, when I heard it was announced that she was going to be Artemis, I was like, the Evelyn character. I was like, uh, I don't know if I like her as Artemis. But I actually really like her. She meshes really well with the team. I think that she's going to be a really great addition. I hate that costume they gave her. What the heck is that? I hope that's just like a prototype to her actual suit, because that's just poor. I mean, I know all the suits take a lot of money, but, you know, you kind of add in a lot of characters, you kind of add in the whole Justice Society to Legends of Tomorrow, and they have, like, tons of costumes, so I don't, I don't know why you're not chunking some money over to Arrow for their costumes, because, man, ugh, uh, Ragman's costume is pretty cool, we'll talk about him in a second. But anyway, we have Oliver trying to be the mayor and the Green Arrow at the same time, also fantastic, I actually really love that. I hope we can make it work, because every time he tries to be something and Arrow slash Green Arrow, it always fails, so I hope this time it could work. We'll have to see. It never really does work. It works for Bruce Wayne. I mean, well, 
not really. It doesn't really work for Bruce Wayne, but kind of does. In the beginning, it works for Bruce Wayne. Then he ends up either losing his money or just, like, not caring at that point because he's Batman. So hopefully it works out for Oliver uh, being Mayor and Green Arrow at the same time. But I liked Ragman. Let's talk about Ragman. So Ragman was fantastic. Uh, in the episode, they explained the whole Ragman origin about how Haven Rock was his home. If you guys recall, back in Season 4, Felicity destroyed Haven Rock because of the, the uh, nuke missile thing. I don't know what it's called. Uh, we'll call it a nuke because of the nuke. She diverted it to make it hit Haven Rock, but she didn't want to, and it killed all those people, and it killed uh, Ragman's family. Ragman's cloak, uh, we'll talk more about the Felicity thing in a second, but Ragman's cloak is a direct Easter egg. So, in the comics, Ragman is a very mystical magic character. He's been with Constantine in the comics before. Maybe we'll see more Constantine, hopefully someday. Maybe like season six, if they have one. I heard that they signed through season seven, uh, so we'll see if they get to that point. But anyway, Ragman's cloak does have magical properties in the comics. Uh, they said that it was radioactive in this episode. It's a family heirloom. So it does have magic properties. We'll probably see more of that, hopefully, down the line. Um, I hope, because Season 4 had magic in it, I like seeing some Constantine characters in there, and Constantine himself, Damien Dark's magic. I hope we get more of that mystical side. Um, what I really would love them to do is bring Raven onto the CW-verse. I think that would be so cool. I mean, if we had Raven in here, or if we had Zatanna. Zatanna, after, no, never mind. Raven would be my second pick. Zatanna would be my first. Um, there, it's rumored that they're going to have Zatanna in the DCEU, but also have an HBO series for her. I hope that's not the case, because I kind of want just a CW version, because it would really look cool. We got her on Smallville, so it would make sense to kind of take that and throw it into the CW-verse. That would be really fun. Um, so, yeah, it would just be a really cool addition. Raven would be my second choice, just because I know she's a Teen Titans character, so it's probably, like, so off the limits, because they were going to have the Titans series, they canceled it, said that they're they said that they were saving Titans for something else, uh, possibly a movie, now that we have Deathstroke in the DCEU, but I hope that if Zatanna doesn't work out and the Titans are available, we should put Raven in the CW-verse, right? I think that'd be really cool. Uh, in my opinion. Uh, but I loved having Ragman on the show. Ragman's fantastic. I can't wait to see more of his character. Can you say Thea love interest? I think it depends on how old he is, though. He looked kind of younger, but at the same time he looked older, but I don't know. But I feel like Thea, you know, Thea is basically the mayor at this point. <laughs> She's been doing, like, a lot of the work uh, that Oliver is supposed to be doing, so we'll see. Maybe Thea will come, become more of a political figure, and maybe she will get a love interest. Although, I don't know, you know... I don't like Thea always having a love interest. I hated Alex in season four. I don't even know why that was a thing. I loved Roy being the, the uh, Thea love interest, but of course Colton Haynes is, not, is doing some other stuff right now. Uh, I think last I heard he was on Scream Queens. So, you know, he's kind of busy right now, but, you know, we got Ragman, so who knows? Maybe? I, I don't know. Uh, we'll probably see later on. But yeah, it was pretty cool to have him. And speaking of Thea, we have Thea and Quentin's story. Um, so I like the arc that Thea and Quentin had. Quentin has been, you know, a drunk again. He's getting drunk a lot. Um, he's now the deputy mayor, or I guess is becoming the deputy mayor. mayor. Uh, it'll be really cool to see that arc evolve. I'm so excited for that. Quentin really doesn't have a reason to be sober, to be in the, you know, be a part of society right now. Because one, Laurel's dead. Two, Sarah's lost in time, like in the Legends thing. So she's like, she was in like for Salem. Like, I don't even know what the heck. Like she was like all lost in there, but they got her back, and now she's part of the team again, so, so confusing. So, Laurel's dead, Sarah's in time, somewhere. Um, so, you know, with the Justice Society, um, which is so cool. Um, but anyway, so Quentin needs the whole deputy mayor position, it'd be really cool to see what happens with that, uh, as well. Now, Prometheus, so many theories about Prometheus. So a lot of people think that Tommy is Prometheus, Oh my god, please make that happen. I want Tommy to come back so bad. I've always wanted Tommy to come back. I mean, really, I thought for sure, like, because of season three and the whole Lazarus pit, I thought, mmm, does that mean Tommy's coming back? I mean, I guess it wouldn't have made sense, but still, I just want Tommy at this point. I just want Tommy. Like, what do you guys think? Should Prometheus be Tommy? I love that Tommy said, or Tommy, Prometheus says that Oliver, I guess, or no, Green Arrow, technically, has failed, and that he's made so many mistakes, and that Prometheus is going after him. Can that be Tommy? Can it be, like, Oliver letting Tommy die because Oliver didn't trust Tommy to know who he was? I think that's a pretty cool idea. I, I think that would be really great. So, I'm all for Prometheus being Tommy. So, we'll see what happens with Tobias and what happens with Pr Prometheus later on in the season, but I'm excited for it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the episode. So what do you guys think about it? Comment down below. Are you excited for what's going on with Ragman, the team, Prometheus, 
everything like that. So what do you guys think about it? Comment down below. Links are there to my other Arrow videos. Links are there to my Twitter, Instagram, Vine, vlog channel, and gaming channel. Don't forget to like and favorite this video. Don't forget to, to, to subscribe. <laughs> and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.